it seems like I cannot take the 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 hook off. Stuff. Designation Hallis Hope. Uh, did you say Hallis Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a this uh, thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You've been tanning. This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items Brilliant. in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, <laughs> tell me that is not Jesus. a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Oh, I don't want to kill the llama. Don't make me shoes. Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential oh, biohazard? Good. Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding part. Okay then. I check the lava. It's probably gonna bring us more trouble. Just I'm sure it's harmless. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacor licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? God, I see. What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Oh, Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot. A Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket. Bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora. Adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. Last and definitely at least, Peter Jason Quill. <laughs> That's it. That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to. Cadet like Gold. Now. What are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. 
I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Wow. Oh. Great. Here goes Plan B. You don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. She told you off. Watch oh, the wow. jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Who's that? Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power, no containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that they cannot even fathom. Well, that's weird. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Breaker, leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Okay, then. Looking for God. All right, pirates. Yeah. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no! super clear you on the mom. That. I actually got scared. I was not scared. <laughs> That's dumb. That's dumb. Jesus. Okay. I'm awake now, okay. Hey kid, are you there? Just knocked. No girl! <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Let me just see if I can. Hold on! Oh. There we go. Did that gold, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Okay, so it's just an eye. See? Whoa. Right. Okay. That was gonna be amazing, huh? <laughs> oh! <sighs> Thanks. Mom wouldn't be impressed if I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a glass door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. Uh, that's how we're pressing the buttons. Go, I don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need to keep moving. This way. You dead, Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I knew close. there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? For God. Oh, man. This is bad. Just give me a sec. Come on. You no, know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No. You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Are we sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. 
Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? Right. There's another blast. Are you kidding me? Relax. You're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost. There. Yes! Got it! Through here! Woo! <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad oh, yourself, you. pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Start with the bad news. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. Come on. Brilliant. Flark! Pipes Language. must burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain Easy does it. You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. You gotta For what it's worth, I think you're that. doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. <laughs> Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. <laughs> They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Okay, they're they're empathizing. Does your mom know That's you play cute. down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. It's a bit touchy subject, I guess. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. Okay, let's you don't bond. know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of these skate pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. This way. Okay. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. Hey, actually, it's pretty cool. It's like cool. your secret hideout, right? Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this yeah. Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago, kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah, he seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Hey! Secret stuff! Off limits! No adults. 
I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. This is actually so really interesting to you see. You get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? Whoa. I can explain. Oh, there she is. Mom, seriously, a okay, barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? I guess Sneaking we're gonna have with an arresting to squad. do some Running talking with criminals. now. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom, you promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault. Some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two with me. Right. Overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. For the record, <laughs> I didn't mean overreact like in a bad way. I mean like celebrating. What a moral person of conviction you are. That is not what you said. Jesus, I should have said that. I don't care that. what he said. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't this like against galactic law or something? I don't something? know why I did. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. Okay. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, to do, really? and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay, I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security or through the hangar bay checkpoint. I tried to have the, the key, and I think that's the right thing to do. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a twelve-year-old right now? Twelve. Oh wow, I thought she was at least sixteen. Peter! What? If she really knew her stuff, she's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level six access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. Uh you yeah, pockets. take the blame. Like be Nikki. And that's what I was me. going to do. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hack them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep, bop, boop, 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. Okay, I guess that solved it. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? 
No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But mom! I can make it 30 cycles. <laughs> but I do not understand that. Two days? 30 days? So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. Chewbacca? Hey, that's pretty cool. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. I want to get along, he is actually. Yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Oh, it's not his, is it? Yeah. 12 year old daughter? I don't think so, is it? You didn't have during the war? 12 years ago when we. Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow. Um... Okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a oh. disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Is she gonna let him go? I'll regret this. No, come on. When have I ever? You won't regret it. <laughs> Promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four. Not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. Okay, then. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay, so we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. All are you gonna right, let a little then, fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. <laughs> All right, then. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay, 
First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Hey, well then, the llama's still here. At least it's alive. Well, look at. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. Do not think that I do not know what this you. This doesn't do anything. Okay. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am watching you, tree. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be six thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. Right. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we fin should go after Fin, fin Fang Foom. Drax, there What's are that? easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out My on figurines quill. are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic yeah, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. Where we will seek to best the I mean, infamous Finn. Oh, I, I didn't got do anything. I am good. Did I? I did not do anything. I am too bad at making decisions. I don't know what he said though. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem Absolutely with your plan brilliant. is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I Oh. oh yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to No, no, he is not offering that. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh my god, no. Do I have timer? Yeah, Rocket doesn't really want to do Groot. I think I'm gonna well, go that Rocket's way. Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's Sorry unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The Sheesh. point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Right then. I don't really know how this is gonna go. I should have. No, I think I should have you done. The weather Groot. patterns of Seknarf Nine are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Yep, no 
Captain! He's flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one... minor... adjustment! <laughs> Piece of cake! Sorry about that, I, I had to... Serious. What? Cut. This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. Make a cut. You know how much I like scoping. So we are in the... Uh, no. What was her name? Uh, Lady Hellbender. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Des. <laughs> you, you are complaining. We don't have that one already. No, everyone's. We're all complaining. Yeah, I don't know. Happy? Don't put it enough. Let's keep on going. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, everyone is pissed. No, everyone is flat we should on me. not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Okay, so I'm guessing it's quite an extreme okay, planet. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is that not one? a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. <laughs> Ah. Out! Ah. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child. Oh, that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Strike me down, Zeus. All right, then. So we're still doing this. The castle is all the way over there. Guys, focus. Shouldn't be that hard. Resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. So we're stranded Don't now. This one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. What's that? It's gonna slide. Eh, not sure. Some jelly cube. But it ain't moving now. It's got something inside. It would be wary, Rod. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Bit. Whoa! It's not alone. Get ready. Oh no!
Alright, what is that? Oh no. Alright. This is lots of them. Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. These sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! And all sails, shoot stuff. Words to live by. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Right. Have we go? Great. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel is all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. All right. Flark. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. Careful. Looks like something big moved through here. Yay. If you see anything with the claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this big for? For a sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I was still laughing. There's further proof that we're not going. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Right, that was. Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn at first. Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous. Can we focus here? Are you frightened of monsters, Peter Quill? Only the scary ones. <laughs> we'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. All right, then. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant castle. How oh, bollocks. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! I don't know if I want to do it. We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking dogs! How will we cross? Which is to defend him. Oh, that's Look cool. around, we'll find another way. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm sorry to tell us, Captain Rage. Not a chance. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. <laughs> then there should be no What's problem. Shitari? I'm watching you. You could have the encyclopath. Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree. <laughs> Is there anything the over here? Are not us. <laughs> it would 
be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing rock. But I'm not pretty sure what to do then. Okay, there's a thing here. Trying to. Oh, okay, I see it. Right. Oh, I cannot go there? Okay. Let's see then. This is pretty much where I come from, isn't it? And I've been hit already. Chicken. There was nothing up here anyway. You think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thanks, genius. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He's not a nut of any kind. He's a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. But it would seem like. All right then. Wow! It is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Oh, that's a fall. Shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. I beg we can. Ah, perhaps we could fashion a catapult. Throw this away. Not throwing rocket. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. Yeah. Probably we would have been the other way already. Ah. <laughs> we threw rockets. That's pretty neat. I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait. Hear that? What's oh. up, people? Oh. Incoming! Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! Well, I almost fall. Anyone else notice this place looks like a graveyard? Stag is stronger? That's pretty cool. Well, 
Ouch. I definitely know how to start this. I'm just, I'm just commanding right away to do whatever. Ouch! Oh, this is a lot of trophies. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. 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 Do a lot of damage. This battle was satisfying. All right, then. There we go, marvelous. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place, they were carried. All right, Mora. Pretty sure it's this way. All right. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. <laughs> Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure, she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. Gamora, <laughs> mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the whole thing? Fear. No. I kind of like that sassy uh, uh, the the first, being of the Pretty cool just cast. Go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> because I need to cover everyone. Right. Right. <laughs> See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Something's gonna happen to me, isn't it? Easy does it. <gasps> what the war? What is that? The brute says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Whoa. Close. That's pretty cool. Someone's got lots of moves. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Oh, another jelly thing. We are not alone here. I got it. Can be frozen. Guys, anyone know what that is? A monster. Ah! Right. Oh, okay. Uh, once all monks are gone, the enemy scalp up. Yes. Right. I guess I understood that. Hey, it's pretty heat, it's pretty tough. I'm not doing shit. Ouch. Can I, fr can I free him? Like a hot knife! We've got to apply more 
Ouch. Did he actually heal? Oh. All right. Uh, call to action. Uh, listen. Let's trigger a special guardian attack. Successful call to action will lead to this cripple. I don't know what I did. What? It's like a momentum thing. Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. Bonnington. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Track the wall. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Perhaps your magical mask right. can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. See anything useful up there? I got really eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Reactor thing there is pretty loose and pretty gunked up. Ugh. Okay. Yo, Quill, back out the upper wing strut. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow, it is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Group, any suggestions? Right. Anything you can do with that busted reactor unit rocket? Gamora, can you use the reactor to get up the ship? Not when it's over there. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, oh. right? It is not. Just like the mighty lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. Wait. We got it, Drax. Where was it? That, that thing's shining. Be done. Are we sure we want to go back up? What is that? This unit is tremendously heavy. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. What next? Right. Will. I don't know. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Impressive. Yeah. That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind bubble treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. I oh, know then. Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is. Lady Hellbender's fortress. Got bigger, that's is. for sure. Ha, it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. What okay, ship? Here we go. Oh, oh what's this? Slimy. Jelly. Uh, guys. Jesus. We're gonna drop it. You might want to wait to come down here. Brilliant. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Some schmack breach! A schmack. Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Oh my god. Quill. Quill. What? Hey, what is that? 
Okay, come on, say, say good day, man. This is good day. Oh. It throws it. Oh, I read that actually. What the element stuff. Sorcery. <laughs> so cold. Rocket! Somebody get him out of there! Alright, that was cool. Before when I was a kid, I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoid tech. <laughs> just when Spartoid. you think you've seen it all, you pull Scott like this. Just, could you, just please let, let go me go alone. Let me, I, 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 I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, <laughs> sorcery. Here we go again. Oh no, I didn't see that. Right, so now, now I can ice them. It's an ice cube. That's fun. We're so happy for you and your guns, Quill. Happy to wipe off. Tearing flesh from its bones appears to do nothing. I cannot punch the ice. Ah, uh, it's a bit. Here we go. Jesus. Ouch. Okay, that, that's that's. I got confused a little bit there. But we're gonna need to get up there. We can okay, I forgot about this actually. That's pretty cool, I want that. So I'm assuming I, s I wasted my points. Yep. I have to... Go on and remodel that. What do you think if we go like this now? Anyone else have? I guess we're gonna have to unlock them. I'm up and over. Very well done. Ding, ding, ding. Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetoid. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. I thought that was that the, the thingy. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Group, any way you can bring that one down with vines or something? <laughs> he says his vines ain't strong enough to move them things. Ah, oh, okay, Mark, I get it. I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the <laughs> gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these. Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shatari meat. <laughs> Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps. And... 
Oh. Alright then. Wait. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. Is she a giant? Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. What is that? Oh man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. There is a bridge. Some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty Probably. Sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. Case, I'm sorry, I went. I mean, I had a path here, and then I went to come. I sure hope. Everything okay, Peter? Brilliant. Yeah, just you know, during water and ice. I yeah. think I can see my house Need from this. here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. <laughs> Excellent work, right. Peter. Alright then, let's go. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? Said that Anyone she... but Drax? <laughs> Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, you... let's... How many times not do, do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to Okay, he yeah, appreciates. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like. Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. No, then I cannot go that way. Time arguing. We'll find another way across. <sighs> I guess I have to. Uh, okay. Mm, wait, can I get that high? If we can't get across no. it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people. I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. What? I'm glad we know where we're going, but this road's got more holes than a Disradian tree. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I'm Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, you've known Rocket way longer than I have. You know he can be kind of unpredictable, temperamental even. Where's this guy? Feisty. What I'm asking is, is he going to be able to go through with this? That sounded like a yes. Good. Thanks, man. <laughs> I do not know why he said uh, okay. What are you doing, wench? Why are you touching me? You have some jelly on your pants. I don't see you cleaning me off. Where did you guys go? Uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. Oh, I can't believe I can see this. Wants to know how Will's guns can just make ice at enough. Let's go. Guys, I've got I guess. something here. Yes, this is the way. It's deep. This looks promising. I have There's lots of things to now. If something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh does anybody else smell that? It really stinks High density back object. Here. Deadly if yes, throw. It smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Is this? Yep. 
Uh, physical, physical vulnerability detect may be exploited or destroyed in many ways, force. This reminds me of my home world. Well, I get that it. Bad, huh? the Tath is not okay, a place so for the weak. Punishing weather and lethal predators force we'll every throw that thing, to fight isn't it? for survival. Drax, shot that through the stink wall. It does look disgusting. Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh. Oh my god. I am clenching every <laughs> orifice right now. Oh no. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh. Hello? Is this, it looks like Anybody? a truck, like a taco truck. Special. Spatial. Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage oh, this Oh, because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Yeah. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got monster work food. on your taste. Buds. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. <laughs> oh, no. He's out already. That's the one we cut the tail off. I still don't know where. Oh my god, my thing is up here. Now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel park. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah. I love really that. Great speech. Can I show that? <laughs> Eat freeze. Whoa, can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? 395 million units, give or take two. One for every precious hair follicle on this lawless body. You have counted them. It is bizarre. Hey, at least I no, have something to count. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty hey, sure it's this first. way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. you, man. I love easy. Which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. 
Seknoff 9 is a sanctuary. Oh, what's they this? say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. The most unpleasant. I got an outfit. Ah, it looks really cool. I'm gonna use it. Wait. That can't be true. Okay. Cleave ho! Let me see him. Where is he? Oh, there he comes. Look at it. Pretty demoniac. That thing heavy? Well, surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Whoa! That there is, it is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Well, I thought it was a dragon for a second. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them. So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full... Let's just get this done. Alrighty then. That's a long bridge. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fucking infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. <laughs> yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh, right. Cage. Point of even getting the fucking thing is looking like a new business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Now I don't know because we're. I mean, we're gonna break him out, aren't we? Probably Grooch. I don't know. Okay, let's do it that way. Maybe let's see right. what happens. We should try selling Groot instead. Look, it's gonna be pissed. What? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that uh, we might what? need rocking on the outside for this one. Peter Quill, we're not a democracy, Drax. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. Really hope. You hang tight there. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Good. Oh, Drat is pissed. No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Oh, come on. Well played. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing. Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Okay, Let's get him going then. Go. That's pretty long bridge, I would assume. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. Oh. I don't know why, but I feel like the bridge is moving. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to like kill the time? Uh, ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called the Supermarket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Is, please stop the name of your song. No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? 
We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. Oh, 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. <laughs> Jesus. 0.66 Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna have a flashback. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. This is where I left it last time. Right. Uh, I said it already. It didn't have show up in the video. But this is pretty much it. And then again, I mentioned last time that's got the. Well, the wet towels inside the bed, Star Lord. Cool. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. So, I just... We'll make The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. I gotta beat Jamie's high score. This is embarrassing. Real retro. Leave, I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Tron. I'll just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Cheetah. Fingers are still crap from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Though this is the non copyright music, it's still. This is our time to go from hero to hero. Can you play? It's a Iron Maiden thingy down there. Need to build up my calluses. Keep practicing, man. Sounding good. Alright, then I think that's it. This is where it ended last time. Last pack. I did not do this. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars. Wondering what might be out there. Alright then. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid. But it's been busted ever since I can remember. He says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Yeah. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over.
I use closer I thought I was gonna say something out. Who decided to finally come up? Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. To Pac-Man. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. I think you got them all, and I got a healthy dose of your spit. <laughs> what did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? <laughs> Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth. And then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Okay, let's go with that you one. You watched The Exorcist it's when you were younger of. than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I... I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Oh, maybe, maybe she feels a little bit you bad can't because right the dust not there. Yeah, let's go with that. We can one. still do all that stuff. We're doing nicer. Or some of it tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. Let's go with that one. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Yeah, maybe she feels a little bit like down. Just the the that's not there. And it's just not the so fast. Them. Before you oh, go, there's something touchy. I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? That's a little bit sad. Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Well then. Don't you dare touch that dial. Ah, uh, there will be music there, but I got it off. Hey, Dogo. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Ah, that is sad. What the fuck? Poor dog, man. How are you getting to oh, the movie? No. Andy said his older brother would give us a ride. Make sure he brings you back, too. 
Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. Okay, I don't want to miss anything, so I'm gonna be walking around. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Poor dog, man. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I don't know what game that is. What the hell? All right. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Yeah, that's a lot of pictures. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. You know, this is getting a little bit depressing. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. It's not gonna last. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Okay. Nothing here seems like. Let's keep on going. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there it is. Where is this? I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? What do you know? What? Alright. I did not even realize, but that overextended a lot. I have two hours of raw gameplay. So this is where I'm gonna end episode two. Thank you so much to everyone that watched the last episode. Uh, if there's anything is if there's anything that you want me to know, put it down in the comments. I'll be glad to read it. As always, comment like subscribe. Uh, click the bell thingy or in all that bollocks, you know. And yeah. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.